even accounting for a wide diversity of survival imperatives among scores of generations of human beings for whom life could be well argued to be difficult at the best of times, even accounting for all this, one of any acquaintance in this world is obliged to own that a great number of human beings exhibit what could be called at least a personality disorder, if not a if high-functioning delusional psychosis or narcissistic psychosis. I find this to be, or I deem this to be, such a significant statement, such an important idea, that one just has to step back from that for a moment. And it's very easy to jump in, the water's warm, and start to make a lot of claims or share a lot of concerns about human life. And the, you know, the the likelihood of world peace or of electing an honest politician. And uh, I see plenty of people um, run their mouths off quite a bit about some sort of political ideology or how much they dislike a particular uh, political leader or, or religious faith or anything. And it just seems designed to just use up people's time worrying about things they can't control which are just the beginning of things that they can control even less. But there's something you have to think in that territory of all the things we can control even less than the vagaries of our political existence. That may just may be stimulating enough, unlike most problems in life, and in due course those problems seen in the context of the far more difficult, difficultly ponderable and the far more imposing scales of the entire range of human torture. That can, as I say, I think, stimulate dormant regions of our pathology and our neurological capacity and our ability to reason and our ability to balance different nuances different proportions and reason with our personal needs and those of the world around us. In other words, to answer all the social and physical imperatives that life, uh, life alone, let alone our society, places upon us with ease and with a definite sense of growth, of progress, of slow to bold increases in our quality of life. Or a quality of self-awareness. Even if it means stripping us of our illusions and leaving us with nothing uh, less accommodating and just a world that we don't understand as well as we used to. Which is not such a bad thing.